Alrighty, Cherub, so today we're going to be making a dragon egg. So I've got my slip and a brush. I've got my coils. I've got a comb. And I've got a bowl with a plastic bag. The plastic bag's important so that the coils don't stick. Now what I'm going to do to start off is just take some coils and roll them together to make a base. Now I'm going to stitch it together on both sides. And I just want this to be flat. I'm just going to even out the edges there. And curl up the sides. Just so I have a place to stick my first row of coils. Now I'm going to go ahead and score that on the outside edge. It's, Im it's important to note that I'm not putting these on the inside or that I'm not putting them directly on top, but I'm going to put these first couple on the outside edge so it starts to flare out. And that's important as I want to get this egg shape. So now I'm going to nest it inside my bowl so it can start to hold it and take that shape. I'm going to continue to score and slip my coils following the shape of my bowl. And once I get above the rim of the bowl, I'm going to start to put the coils on the inside edge. And this is so that I can have it start to close in on itself. So we're changing the direction of the coils the way where we're putting them so that we can change the shape of the form that we're making. Notice that I'm stitching the whole thing together on the inside and out as best I can. It's not a pretty stitch, but it's strong enough to hold it for the moment. We're gonna finish it off up the top with coils. If there's any indentations or spots that aren't even, I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Now I'm going to use the comb and scratch the whole thing just to help smooth it out. We'll scratch the whole thing and then I'll use the credit card to smooth it out. And I'll use the paddle to help shape it. I'll pop it out and you can see that it's pretty rough looking on the bottom side. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth that all out, stitch it together. And I'm going to use my paddle again to help smooth it and shape it into an egg shape. The bottom should not be flat. It should be rounded. So I'm going to take some time to round that out. And the top shouldn't be a, a sharp cone. So you're just going to spend some time with this and making it look egg shaped. Now I'm going to take the scaling tool. There's a, sh a big end and a small end. Make sure you're using the big end for this. I'm going to take it towards the top and just press it in. Line it up and press it in and move it over. Press it in. I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to wind up with this little star shape. Now what I'm going to do is directly under one of those points I'm going to line up the point of my tool. And you can see that that makes a little scale. So I'm going to keep going all the way around, remembering to line up the point of the tool underneath the point of the scale on the row above. And I'm going to keep going around in this way, and it'll make it look like the egg shape is covered in scales. You want a good amount of pressure when you're using the scaling tool, but not too much. You don't want to punch a hole through it. And we're going to keep going with this and keep going around and around the egg, creating those scales. 
and until the entire form is covered. This does take some time to do. And not all of the scales are going to line up perfectly, and that's okay. That's totally all right if the scales don't line up perfectly, but we want to try our best to make it look decent and good. Here we have some finished eggs. 